Hello everyone. In this lecture, we'll be talking about installing Ubuntu in your Windows machine. So right now you can see this is my Windows machine. Okay. So the first software that you need to download is VirtualBox. So you can just write VirtualBox download. Okay. And then you will get to the website virtualbox.org. Okay, so right now you can see this particular web page has opened and from here windows host okay just click on windows host and this is the file that is asking to be downloaded which is around 103 mb okay so please download this file you have to click on windows host and then your download will start so i will just click on save file so right now this is a software that i will use to install the ubuntu image the next task is to download the Ubuntu image. So let's just open and you can write Ubuntu 18 download. Okay, and you will get the first link. Just open that. Okay, and from here, two images are there one is desktop image, one is server install image. So, desktop image we will be downloading right now. We won't be using the server edition. So, please click on this. Okay, and you can see right now a 2GB file will be downloaded. So I will just click on OK. So right now, these are the two important things that you need. And the third important thing that you need to keep in mind that your virtualization from your BIOS setting should be on. Okay, so in Windows, you can have a check. You can just open your task manager. From your task manager, you can go to performance. Okay. And here specifically virtualization enabled. Okay, it should be enabled, then only it will work. Okay, so if it is disabled for you, please go to your BIOS and change the setting. Okay, so this is your virtualization and it should be enabled. Then your virtual machine will work. We have actually downloaded the necessary software. So this is a virtual box and this is the Ubuntu image. So first we need to install the virtual box so i will just click on double okay and then click on run okay so here it's coming the pop-up welcome to oracle uh, vm virtual box 6.1.26 setup wizard so you just need to click on next okay then click on next so by default click on next okay then proceed with the installation now it's asking for network in interfaces so just click on yes okay and then you need to click on install so basically your installation will be done so for me it's already done so i won't proceed ahead okay so i will just click on cancel so i hope that everybody has done their installation in the next step this is my ubuntu image which i'll be using to create a new vm so let's open virtual box so i will be just open virtual box so right now one of the vm is already available but i want to create a new one so i will just click on new and i will give a name ubuntu okay new so right now i have given the name ubuntu underscore new how much ram i want to allocate so for now let me just mention around 4096 I am allocating 4 GB. It depends upon you. At least if you have 8 GB, then minimum allocate 3 GB. If you have 16 GB, please allocate 4 GB of RAM. So, okay, so create a hard disk. Okay, all right. I'll be creating a new hard disk. So I have selected the option. Okay. Now where I want to create it. So I can create it somewhere else, not here. So I will be creating in a different drive. Okay. So right now, how much space do I need? So I think 20 GB will be more than enough for this course. So 20 GB I am keeping in my virtual machine, VDI dynamically allocated. And then I will just click on create. Okay. So right now you can see Ubuntu underscore underscore new is the new I will say image that we are creating. So after that I will just click on start. 
okay now there is something important please focus here so right now you have to select the startup disk okay so i have to select the startup disk from here i'll be selecting so you can just click on add the one that i have downloaded is this one i will just double click on it and i will choose it okay and then i will click on start and right now your installation will start okay we can see the dark purple screen of ubuntu coming okay we have to wait okay and we can see the ubuntu logo right now. it's getting loaded let me just increase the size of this window and right now we can see the ubuntu screen it has came okay so right now we will be installing ubuntu we won't be trying this option try ubuntu okay so we will install ubuntu so i will just click on install ubuntu and just be sure of your language so right now i am to use english okay so i will just click on install ubuntu okay and then i have to select the keyboard layout english us is fine In the next step okay so normal installation minimal installation you can do a normal or a minimal one so any one so right now you can proceed ahead with the normal installation okay and just select this download updates while installing ubuntu if there are some updates it will try to install so i will just click on continue okay so right now we have allocated around 20 gb so it is disk and install ubuntu so this this is the option that you need to select so i will just install now okay and finally the continue so right now my installation will start so let's wait for some time okay okay all right so here you have to select in which region you are so right now i am in india so i have selected kolkata so continue and right now you have to give a name for example if i want to give a name like iNeuron okay and the password any password that you can select so i am giving a short password you can give a long password also and right now my installation has started so it will take few minutes so let's wait for the installation to be completed. So right now we can see here it's written the installation is complete. You need to restart. So I will just click on restart now. okay and now it will okay so it's telling me remove the installation media and press enter so i will just press enter and now it has restarted okay so this is the user that i created iNeuron 
and now machine has started up. I just I will just enter the password. So this is the first time the boot screen will come. The desktop of Ubuntu. And it's looking good. So I will just click on next. Next. And it's done. <laughs> so right now we can see this is the Ubuntu software that is ongoing okay so what I will do in the next step I will just try to increase the font so I will just plus this looks small so to increase the size you can just click on devices insert guest additions okay so it's telling ask run i will just enter the password now modules are getting installed Okay, so please return to close this window. So I have closed. Now I will just do a restart. So we can see our Ubuntu 18.04 getting booted up. Okay, so I will just try to log in. Okay, so right now from here you can change the scale. So auto resize guest display, this option is here. View you can change uh, the display, for example, virtual screen. What is the size that you want? Okay, like if 1980 resize is to 1980. So you can see. You can see your full. Now it looks big and it looks good. Okay, so right now the installation has been completed. Okay, we can just open our terminal. Okay, so which will be interacting with the shell. So I can just write any command. So I will just increase the font here. Yeah. So right. So CD desktop. Okay, and if I want to create a new folder, so here I will be just writing mkdir. Okay, so new underscore folder. Okay. So, and you can see that a new folder will be created here as soon as I press enter. Okay, and you can see new underscore folder got created. So, finally, we can say that the whole installation has been done successfully and we are good to go.